Why is Toronto real estate prices keep going up? Why are the prices of Toronto real estate just keep going up, smashing through the roof year after year, higher and higher? Okay, friends, Yossi Kaplan here, your friendly Toronto real estate agent mortgage broker is Search Realty and Search Mortgage. And today we're going to look at the question, why the prices keep going up? I see this thing a lot, you know, even before I got into the real estate, people always say, oh, it's going to crash. The market's going to crash. You can't go for it. And it does. It does every time. And, you know, you got to scratch your head and say, what's going on here? Obviously, if the reality tell you one thing, you know, you can yell whatever you want against the reality, but it's not going to make any difference. But the answer to why the price of Toronto real estate going up is very, very simple. Well, not really, but we'll make it simple. And the answer is, in one word, inflation. What is inflation? Inflation looks something like this. It looks at prices keep going up, okay? Any way you want to slice it, prices keep going up. Here are the charts of the annual average TREB MLS system for sale price. Numbers don't lie. And 2020 is up. Now, if you want to see from a different perspective, here's dollar value charts since 1913 which is a popular search on Google, and guess what? The dollar keeps sliding down. As a matter of fact, a dollar today is worth about two cents of what it was worth about 100 years ago. I'm going to say that again. The dollar today is only worth two cents of what it was if I had one dollar 100 years ago. Grandpa kept a dollar, okay? And that dollar, Grandpa, could have bought 100 years ago, maybe his entire lunch or whatever grandpa bought 100 years ago. Today, it's like you have two cents. It's good for nothing, okay? So condos are just a real estate. It's just a part of this system. Why the price keep going up here? Supply and demand, yes. Uh, immigration to Canada, of course. You know, like we're somewhat artificially inflated by immigration. Because the immigrants come. If you don't have a lot of money, you can come here. You have to buy something. People funnel money. Maybe I'm not Canadian, but I have a Canadian cousin. I send them the money. They, they write the deal after their name, and it looks like it's immigration. It, it doesn't matter. The money is coming into Canada, okay? The money is coming into Canada because we as Canadians, a government, not only allowing but asking for immigrants. According to what I saw recently, there was over a million people are going to come to this country the next three years. Some between three and 400,000 people they want to bring into Canada year after year for at least three years. What is that going to do to prices of real estate? You guessed. It's going to go up. These people come in with a lot of money in the pockets because our government only lets people with a lot of money in the pocket unless you know, you're a refugee or other subcategory. But the main category, you got to be able to afford it. And when you inject more money into a system and you quash the supply and you increase the demand you're going to go see this in addition all this inflation what it means is price keep going up and the value of dollar keeps going down okay so if it's going up on this chart it's going to go down on that chart that's the charge up that's the chart up okay and that could be the price of lemon i spoke about this above the price of apple price of whatever you buy okay and dollar goes down who wants to bet that the price of ttc is going to go up soon Okay, now, you know, the price of everything I buy, like say the price of a cup of coffee went, out, went from $3 to three twenty-five. That's almost 10%. You think it's only a quarter. No, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, okay? There's four quarters in a dollar. I pay $3, one twelfth. It's about eight point something percent increase in the price of coffee. So if, the co if coffee goes up by 8%, why not the condo? Why not everything else? So why not the TTC? I mean, the 100 bucks you had at January 1st, at the beginning of this year, any year, is worth about 85 bucks in real estate dollars at the end of the year. So that means you're losing over a dollar of your 100 hard-earned dollars every month throughout the year. You're losing $12. You're losing every month a dollar. Now, if you were to buy a condo for a million dollars, and you lost 1%, that means that that condo is losing $10,000 a month, or it's going to cost more $10,000 a month if you didn't buy it. And that's it. If you don't buy it today, it's more tomorrow because of inflation. That's it. We're done.